Hello, giant pumpkin people. And today I thought we'd do something a little fun. We we're gonna do a day in the life of a giant pumpkin grower. We're gonna go through the day and show you exactly what crazy things we do all day long, every day. So here we are, and you can see, got some flowers. Why do we have flowers? Well, let's check it out. So the first thing, we picked these guys last night, give us perfect pollen, put it in a cup, brought them down here because we have this guy opening up. What is that, you say? That's our backup for that guy. This is the 24 16.5 haste. We need a backup. We need to make sure that in case something happens to this guy, we have a backup. So the first thing we do every day is check on our pumpkin. And now the next thing that I do today, which doesn't happen every day, but it is happening today. It's pollination time. Unfortunately, just like the Deletus, there you go, one, two, three, four, and looks like it was trying to do something. It looks like it might have some seeds in it. What a bummer. Oh well, let's pollinate. I'm gonna get my flowers. See if we can do this on camera. Pick this guy off, hold on, switching hands. I am not left-handed. Take that guy off. There we go. Get that guy. This is the 1989 Deletus male. That's what's going inside here. And that is the 24 16.5 haste. That is the female and when I do this it's just like a bee very lightly I'm not forcing it I'm just letting it rub all over I've got six feet males here so it'll have a lot of pollen there we go when it's done crack that off toss it in there all right we'll do the rest of the males here and then we'll cover it up and we'll see you back here all right and we're back we got the backup of the 24 16 that haste we were right up there pollinated now the main reason we want to i want to do this video today of life in a giant pumpkin grower because i thought it'd be special since today is day 10 on our 1989.5 deletus plant that's what you're looking at right now it's growing it's terminated in most areas there's a few areas that are going to get terminated and we're going to fill in the rest of our little space here in the next two weeks. But well, there she is. Very round. Very nice looking pumpkin. It's a good size so far. I'm going to guess it to be about 20, oh, 22 inches, 21 inches, something like that. So here we go. Get our tape measure, put it here come around see if I can get this with one hand there you go not quite 22 inches it's a little right there there she is a little hard but I got to be careful with it it's almost 22 inches 25 is what you're looking for but who cares I can tell that that girl is bigger than what it was last night and that's the main thing um, really you want growth day 10 means absolutely nothing I've had 30 inch pumpkins I've had high 29 28 29 whatever at the end of the year it means nothing at all all it means is that girl's growing she's looking good she's starting to get that look We'll start putting on the inches every day. We'll start checking her out a lot more often. 
All right, we'll see you back here after a bit. All right, now we've got everything set up with like we like it. We measured our deleted plant back there. Now we got a cooler over our freshly pollinated pumpkin to protect it so that bugs and stuff can't get in, keep it cool on these 90 plus degree days. Little frozen water bottles underneath help to do that. And now it also helps protect it from watering because that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head out here to our little watering stations. Mix up a little bit of our goodies, put it in there. This is a Dositron. It feeds it from there. We got some more. We got some over there. We got some over there. We got some stuff going on over here. Mix it all, all of our goodies up. Get your batch of that every day. And then we mix and we water. See you in just a bit. Okay, we got everything working like it's supposed to. It's kind of hard to see, but the plants are getting their food for the day. The water started. We are good to go. Time to go get some breakfast and on to the next step. Okay, it is 10.30 and we are back in the patch. Uh, we're checking it for temperature right now. Feels very good in here, but I always like to keep it nice and cool. Cooler than it is outside Kansas. We're getting hot. Uh, today it'll probably be 94, 95 degrees, something like that. So we want to keep it in the lower 90s upper 80s in here that's why i got all my fans going at night i shut my fans down so now 10 30 since i'm here covid still going on i get to control this a lot more carefully so what we do now is we got to go and turn on our fans so let's go check that out yep shut her off turn on just pumping the fans out a little bit more. There you go, you can hear them crank up. So now, what do we do? Well, generally, I like to do this when it gets hot, is work on the vines. Where are we at? Oh, right. Right there, you can see them growing, getting bigger. So now it's time to go through our plant. Uh, we can do this in the evening. We can also do this in the uh, uh, afternoons, anytime that it starts to get hot so that your plant is more viable. So let's go check that out. All right, so first thing I do, because remember, we're fighting gummy stem blight. It's a fight against disease. So I come through here and there we go. Look for one of these one of those and pick those off because why well flowers are great but they can cause disease so you don't want to have them around your plant they drop off they rot and they can cause disease so i go through my plant now every oh four or five days looking for flowers throw them in a pile and i take them out so there we go now we got all of our vines so the first thing I do is I go into my plant and come back about, oh, four or five leaf nodes. You can see what I've been doing here to fight all this disease. If I don't have any soil on my plants. I first take it and go over here and I'll cover up this leaf node. So any of these we take off, there it is take off the little vines right there and now I know that I'm not gonna need flowers anymore because all my pollinations are pretty much done so I take those off and then I go through here we put the vine where we want it right there, sorry. and then cover up the leaf right by there okay but hot weather you got hot weather you probably don't want to leave that so we'll come back at the same time, looking for ones that maybe get uncovered, cover them back up, cover them back up. And now here, like this one here, it has dirt on top of the vine, so I get rid of the dirt, uncover that, and cover it back up. Get that root growing, 
because you want the root growth like that you can see that guy's got a good root right there so what I'll try to do is redirect that root back underneath here kind of get him out get him underneath some of the soil just like that cover him back up and then in a day or two I'll come back through and uncover all that because we want to keep nice as you can see healthy looking vines throughout with very minimal soil still making roots but minimal soil on the actual plant itself all right so there we go one done 150 leaves to go I'll check back in with you guys after a bit okay we are right at noon now I'm from my arm tell I've been in the patch for a long time here's the end result of the day's work all buried looking good here back here uncovered Getting it all uncovered making sure that's not on the vine I would say right at the moment it's working extremely well I probably have 95 to 90 percent of all the vines have two roots one coming from underneath one coming from the top where every single leaf is so every single leaf is at least two some of them even have three and four roots coming off of them so at the moment looking good we'll see you back here in a little bit and we're back and you can tell no fans are running why why aren't there any fans running? Well, because it's spraying time. The sun's going down and we got our backpack sprayer on here. And every night we like to get in here and spray. When the plants aren't as big, I don't mind hand spraying, but three kids, a lot of stuff to do. Backpack sprayer is the way to go. So get you one of these and let's get spraying. Okay, we're back out here again. Looking at the leaves, I don't know, was this third, fourth time? I don't know, whatever. Um, on this side, they all look good. What I like to do is monitor it now for any leaf burn. It's a windy day. It's not as bad today as most days because uh, it is a little cloudy. But you see, they're starting to stand up a little bit. I like them to be drooped over like this one here is drooped over. That one's kind of standing up. It's because it's hot. The sun's on this side. So I have these little misters set up. So what I'll probably do now is I'm going to go turn on my misters for a couple of hours. Just let it miss this side of the greenhouse. Keep it cool. Keep the plant happy. That's the goal. All right. See you later. Okay, here we are at the end of the day. We've got everything tucked in. We've got all the plants covered up. Roots are growing. Weeds are cleaned out of the greenhouse. And now it's time to uncover the pumpkins for the evening. Here we go. See if anything has happened through the day. There's a good look at her not bad generally i don't measure it but since this is the life of a giant pumpkin grower we're gonna day in the life we're gonna go ahead and give you a good measurement to see if this guy has grown and i'm gonna take it in here close try not to dent anything put you right here we'll see if we can get that in there go right there Real easy. And there you go. 23 inches. It grew. We're getting bigger. So it's growing. And there you go. That's a day in the life of a giant pumpkin grower. Thanks for hanging out with me today. So in the fall, if you see this, giant pumpkin driving down the street and back of somebody's tailgate 
and you have a buddy with you and they say, geez, is that guy nuts? You go ahead and show him this video. Show him how nuts we really are. 